guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I wanted to review my products that came inside my January Ipsy and then we're going to preview the products that are inside my February Ipsy so let's get started from January's Ipsy the first thing I can tell you guys was the complete fail it was just horrendous this is the coffee scrub this is the organic feelings by Los Angeles it smells just like coffee and I think it is coffee I'm pretty sure that it is coffee um let's see does it have ingredients on here hmm ingredients ground coffee yeah so so it's coffee in here but this stuff the reason why i did not like this is because once you start scrubbing your body with this you will make a giant mess if you guys ever spilled coffee grounds in your kitchen before like when you're making coffee you know how kind of messy that is it's just a complete mess to clean up especially if you have a keurig and one of those little things like pops open and you get the black grounds everywhere it's hard to clean that mess up Imagine that in your shower. Imagine that down your shower curtain. Imagine that on your shower everywhere. It was just horrible. Horrible. I can't even speak. It was just so horrible. It was kind of clogging my drain a little bit. It was like not wanting to go down. I'm like, this is a no. No, no, no. I do not like this whatsoever. For me, I will probably never try another coffee scrub unless it's more of like a granulated scrub, like a, like a coffee salt scrub. This is basically pure coffee. I could have made this myself by just going and getting some coffee out of the cabinet and making this myself because this is basically coffee and it didn't do anything for my skin other than make a huge mess. And also, I forgot to mention, when you use this, it stains your skin. So your skin is stained from the coffee. Your skin is stained like an orangey color. So when you're wiping off out of, after the shower, you're wiping all this orange onto your clean white towels. It's just a mess. No, no, no. That was a big no. So the next thing that came inside of the bag, which was this cute little bag here, I actually do like the bag. The more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. It's very retro, very 80s, 90s, 80s, I'd say. The next thing is this right here. This is the City Color Contour Palette. This contour palette did not work for me whatsoever. I don't like the actual deep shade because it's too deep for me. I had to blend it out really, really hard to get this to go away a little bit because it just, I put it on, it was like too intense. The middle shade is too orange. I don't like that one whatsoever. This bottom shade right here is basically a white. It's not really a highlight or anything. It's just basically a white. This for me was an all in all no. This was not good whatsoever. So not happy with that product either. The next thing that was inside of here is this little product here from NYX Lingerie. This is the, um, what is this called? Hmm, I think it's just the NYX Lingerie lipstick. And it's in the shade Beauty Mark. So here's what it looks like. It is like a brown, like 80s, 90s, 90s color. So this is a brown 90s color. I don't like this either. This lip lingerie is okay. The color for me is a no-go for sure. Like that is not me at all. I don't know if I could ever pull that color off, to be honest with you. That's just a shade that just doesn't look good on me. My mom, however, she loves brown shades like this. So I'm going to pass this on to her and see if she'll like it because I know that's like her type of shade. She looks good in those type of shades. I, however, do not look good in this type of shade. So it just didn't work for me. The next thing is this right here. And this is the Real Chemistry, the Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. Now, this is a good cleanser. I've tried their peel before. They have a peel that you put it on and it kind of like pulls up to where it's pulling your dead skin off. And it looks like all these little, do you guys ever put like too much uh, like lotion or something on it, it starts to peel up. Or if you put like the uh, silicone primer on it, it starts to peel up. That's what it looks like all over your skin when you're using that that type of exfoliator. This cleanser was a good cleanser. I wouldn't say it's my favorite cleanser. My favorite cleanser of all time that is a gentle one is Purity. I think it's a good cleanser though. It wasn't anything that I can complain about. It was good. The next thing in here is this product from Visanti. This is the Kajal Waterline Eyeliner Intense Black. Nothing really exciting to talk about this. It didn't really stay in my waterline very well. It kind of bled out. I had a problem with that. I think it'd be good for maybe lining your eyes, but like on the tops of your lids. But honestly, I just, I'm not into like the actual liners like this anymore. I'd rather have like a, um, like the Kat Von D one. I like that better where it's like the felt tip or the, what is the other brush tip? I like those much better than this type in my opinion. They just work better and I'm able to use them a lot easier. and most of the time actually if i'm going to put anything in my waterline i do put shadow in my waterline i've used my little it cosmetics little um what is that called i can't remember what it's called but it's a brush that's made for the waterline i use that and i do that in my waterline i don't even need these anymore so this was just an okay product honestly for me this bag was mm, no 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 and mm, 
So for me, this bag was just, was it worth $10 for me? No. Honestly, no, it was not worth $10 for me to try these things out. Maybe it was worth $10. No, it wasn't. I was going to say, maybe it was worth $10 for me to clean my shower. No. <laughs> I was so frustrated trying to get all that coffee grounds out. It was just such a mess. So this was a complete fail for me, in my opinion. This bag just did not work out at all for me. So I need to make sure I go on and do my reviews on my bags because I've been kind of neglecting doing that. So I need to go on and do that so I can update and let them know, hey, look, I don't want no coffee scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> I don't want no black eyeliners. I just, I need to let them know. So either way, let's move on to February. Let's let January be in the past and we're going to move on to February. So February's bag looks like this. The bag is really pretty. It reminds me of like something you get at Victoria's Secret. It looks like lingerie. It's really pretty. I like the bag itself. It does have the little ipsy little label right here, the little tag. I think it's cute. I know some people were saying they think it felt, feels cheap. I think it feels typical for Ipsy's bags. I don't think it feels any more cheap than any of their other bags, to be honest with you. So I'm not unimpressed. Then they have a little card in here that's celebrating different types of women, which is really cool. I'm glad they're doing that. I just wish they put some information on their cards. The next thing in here is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Is it in there? It feels very light. So this must be a really tiny one. This is a, how many ounces? 0.11. Oh, this is actually really big. Is this full size? That looks like a really big container of It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. That's really, really big. That's a nice size to have. This is light, ultra fair. I'll have to see if this color works for me. Hmm. I know I have like smaller ones, but I don't have a big one. <laughs> That's what she said. And then let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's very light. It may not work. It's going to be super brightening under me, underneath my eyes. I don't know. That looks really, really bright. Oh, that, I can definitely highlight underneath my eyes using that. That's for sure. So we'll have to see if I can use that color or not. If not, then I'll just pass this along to somebody else who might be able to use it better than me. But this is a pretty good product, so I'm so far impressed. The next thing is, what is this? We have a chlorine dry shampoo. So this is the chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. So here's what it looks like. I know I've already tried this before and I really do like this dry shampoo. It smells really, really good. It doesn't leave a dramatic white cast in my hair either, which is really important because my hair, I feel like it's gotten quite dark over the past couple months. So I don't really want it to leave a big white cast all over my hair because it's going to look like I have gray on the top. So this is actually a good one. I'm impressed with this as well. So that's actually a decent size. The next thing is, what is this? This is by Estate. This is the Do Me Baked Highlight powder so here's what it looks like on the packaging it's just a pink little package um this says it is a cruelty free paraben free company it contains mic and talca and dimethicone it says discontinue use if rash or irritation occurs that's always good to read so here's what the packaging looks like it's like a very easter looking color and then the actual highlights purple oh my goodness a very pretty purple color, but I don't know about highlighting on my cheeks with that thing, but we'll see. Oh, actually, it blends out really nicely. So it blends out really pretty. So that might actually work. I'll have to try that one out. That looks pretty impressive so far. So far, so good. The next thing is a little, what is this? A moisture retaining day lotion. So this is called Apto. This is a day lotion. I have never heard of this company before. Um, it says this formulation seals in moisture and leaves the skin nourished, soft, and supple. The anti-inflammatory properties of the green tea and chamomile extract soothe any irritation. Hmm. The only thing is, if it's a day lotion, I would hope that it would have contained like an SPF, and there's no SPF in this. So I'll have to try it and see, though. See if it's any good. This is a half an ounce, so that's a pretty decent size. If you don't better. Oh, and the last thing is a brush, and it's a Luxie brush. So it's a dual-ended Luxie brush. I love Luxie brushes. I have lots of Luxie brushes. This is called the 249 brush. I know a lot of people don't particularly like the dual-ended brushes, but they're perfect for traveling with, and I think people forget that. Because if you take this on travel, you're not going to be storing them up like this when you're traveling. They're most likely going to be sitting into a bag or something. So they're perfect to travel with. So it's like a dual purpose brush one one brush can do two things when you're traveling so this would be a great one to travel with so excited to try that out and see how good it is 
So, so far for February, things are looking up, that's for sure, because January was like, <laughs> no, was not impressive whatsoever in my opinion. So, I'd love to know what you get inside of your Ipsy. If you get Ipsy, if you don't get Ipsy, let me know what you think of my bag for the last, for last month anyway. And if you've tried the products from this month, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.